Here's Semenyo, bit of room down the right, edge of the box, driving into the area, onto his right foot, onto his left foot, trying to find room for the shot. Square ball to Lewis Cook, who scores! Brilliant from Semenyo! And another goal for Lewis Cook, his second of the season, doubles Bournemouth's lead, the Cherries 2, Southampton 0. Semenyo, right side of the box, the Cherries fans are loving this, Semenyo still going, edge of the area, looking for the shot, onto his right foot, shoots low! Antoine Semenyo again for the Cherries! What a start to the season that man is having! You do not give him room to shoot, because he will punish you, and he just has. Four for three, Southampton nil. Well, I mean, he's got on the ball, and he's, again, he's stuck two of their players down on, on the floor. You could tell us more than that, it was a glorious goal. Yeah, I mean, I caught the defenders of God with the chop, and uh, like I said, just wanted to create space and get a shot away, so I did that. You know? With the way they play at the back, yeah. do you always feel like there's an opportunity coming? 100%, 100%, it's, they're overcaring at the back, so there's always going to be a chance. Maybe we we'll press 25 times, and that one time we get, we'll score, so just had to be relentless today, and we knew we got a chance. What about the start of the second half, the way they came out? You know, was there an element of sort of switching off from board, feeling the job was done? What, what happened? Uh, to be honest, I couldn't tell you, but um, they had that pressure, like I said, and we just needed to uh, calm the storm a little bit. So when they scored the first one, we just needed to relax, get back to what we were doing in the first half, and we just slowed them down. So, yeah. And overall, here at home, didn't quite go your way against Newcastle, certainly didn't go your way against Chelsea. Can this be the start of something here at the Vitality? Yeah, it's definitely going to be something. I think the games we've got coming up now, we just need to get more three points. And yeah, like I said, a good team and we're going to cause problems this year. So can't wait. Very well played today, Antoine. Thank you. There you go. That is Antoine Semenyon. Um, so, yesterday. Um, last last night big up to everyone lovely family and lovely friends out there whatever you're watching that we need to platform from thank you so much and we do really appreciate your time for always staying here with us at a windy unity platform and happy happy mo um tuesday to you whatever you may be watching us from um this video we're going to be running you through all Ghanaian players Ghanaian players best living during the weekend we normally do this on every monday but the reason why we couldn't do that um, yesterday is because some of Ghanaian players uh, will be playing, supposed to play yesterday, players like Antoine Semenyo and a lot of players out there. So we wanted to monitor their performance before we can do that today. So if you are first, if today is your first time watching this and you do not know how we normally base on giving this best 11 during the weekend or every Monday, uh, during the weekend, we monitor Ghanaian players all over the world to see their performance. So, during the weekend, we're able to monitor 46 players, 46 players, and we came out with this best 11 during the weekend. So, if you are watching the platform and you haven't subscribed yet, give a thumbs up, subscribe, and share the link to your friends. It's also going to help you anytime we upload a new video. You'll always be the first person to get the notification bell that we have uploaded a new video. So a very quick one. Otuado, we do not want any any how call up because we are seeing how Black Stars are, uh, the players are performing out there. So based on this video, you, you will also see clearly how some of the players are performing out there. We want the new call up this time around. Starting from the defenders. Defenders, um, Kingsley, Sindler, going to be on our left back. In the Turkish Super League, Kingsley Sindler came on 73rd minute. He came on 73rd minute 
um, helping his team winning by four goals to three and he performed very well also scoring one goal right there as a left back so after the game he was rated 7.3 um, the reason why normally I don't put the rate right here sometimes due to copyright issues that is the reason why I normally don't put it here but I'll put one or two players for you to see for that to give you evidence based on what I'm giving here so um, get to also let you know sometime someone using different app to check their their rate so sometimes your rate and um, what I use here may not be the same okay so get to um, clarify that for you to know so moving on for the right back Ali Ducedo um, in the French League 1 star Renet Ali Ducedo played full 90 minutes that was last Saturday full 90 minutes um, against Paris Saint-Germain and they lost three goals to one but individual performance Ali Ducedo put a very good performance um, last Saturday and after the game he was rated 7.9 that is why he's making our uh, right back today and the same now the the, the center backs opoku opoku in the Turkish super league as well he played 78 minutes for his team and they went away he helping his team winning by two goals to one and after the game he was rated 7.6 that's the reason why he's making our best 11 this week. Now, to finish with you with the defenders, we're moving to the same Frank, Frank League one. Mohamed Salisu. He played full 90 minutes for his team Monaco, helping Monaco winning by 2-1, um, two goals to one against Montpellier. After the game, uh, he was rated 8.1 and also getting a yellow card on that game. So that is the defenders. Now we are moving to the midfielders. The midfielders, um, we starting from Abdullah. Abdullah is a striker, um, but sometimes he also can play for the wing. So we are using him for the midfielders right here, based on the players' performance that we have uh, right here. So Abdullah play for the Swedish side, the Swedish league, and uh, Esbok. Um, he played 70 first minute and also scoring a beautiful goal helping his team winning by three goals to one and after the game he was rated 7.7 .7. and this season so far he played 20 games scoring five goals as well now the same um, midfielders Abu Francis in the Belgium Pro League um abu francis helping his team getting a punt and also he's the one to give assist for them to able get um that uh one point because they play draw so he played full 90 minutes after the game he was man of the match and also rated um eight point one and star okay so that is abu francis now moving to the same midfielders Eliza Owusu also give a very good performance in the French League One, playing full 90 minutes for his team, um, helping his team win. Uh, yes, helping his team winning three goals to zero, and in the French League One, scoring a goal and also giving assist. And after the game, uh, he was also a win man of the match and rated 9.1. Um, star that is uh, Eliza Uwusu. Now, finishing with you with the mid faders, Michael Bedu, also the same club with Abdullah in the Swedish league, Esbok. He played full 90 minutes, helping his team winning three goals to one. And after the game, he was rated 8.2 and also scoring a very, very beautiful go as well and this season so far michael Bedu played 24 games scoring 10 goals as midfielder and also um giving four assists 
that is uh, the midfielders. Now we are moving to the attackers. So the attackers, we have Mohamed Fuseni in the Belgium Pro League as well. Mohamed Fuseni play 85th minute for his team. I'm helping his team winning by three goals to zero. And he also scored very beautiful goal as well. And after the game, he was rated 7.8. Mohamed Fuseni. Now, finishing with you, um, the strikers, Anton Semenyo, um, yesterday playing 89th minute for his team in the English Premier League, helping his team um, winning by three goals to one, and also scoring one of the beautiful goals. I would say this it, it is was you guess what that by yourself one of the beautiful goals of the season so far, to my personal opinion. So after the game, he was rated eight point uh, eight point zero. And Tony Semenyo, what a what a um, I won the game and. It is the one give the assist, but I'm not seeing why they are not putting right here that he give assist. But I feel like he is the one give the assist for Cook to score that goal. But I'm not seeing here that he give assist. But by the way, scoring a very beautiful goal. Someone may ask, um, why is where is Thomas Partey? Well, Thomas Partey also performed very well. But looking up the, the the after the game, the rate Thomas Partey rate is not really um, up to these players here. Normally, uh, based on the rate, player you have to get the rate from seven point something going. Thomas Partey gets seven point six, but if you check most of the players here, they get seven point eight, eight point something. So Thomas Partey on this best eleven is being on as substitute because he also performed very well, but not like these players are put here. So when we go to the, the defenders that also perform very well. But their performance wasn't up like those who I guess put right here. Zuberu, who play for the Slovakian League, they are also in the Champions League. Um, tonight they will be playing against Manchester City. So Zuberu also came on for the Slovakian um, League. He came on at the second minute, performing very very well. Um, he was rated. 7.1 and also scoring a beautiful goal as a left back right there so now um the same defenders alexander juku also in the Turkish super league helped his team fanabachi winning two goals to zero and he played on the first half that was uh 46 minutes and getting a yellow card and after the game he was rated 7.2 so you notice that the defenders i put earlier on um they reached 7.9 Eight point something that is why Alexander Juku didn't able to make the main best 11 but it is he deserved to be substitute on this best 11 <coughs> sorry guys I have put <coughs> moving to the same defenders that also performed very well Terry Ewe in the Swedish league with Mark Bedu he played full 90 minutes helping his team as well winning three goals to one and after the game he was also rated um, 7.2 the same performance like um, Alexander Jiku another defender that also performed very well but not really up to the level like the players that I guess put earlier on that is um, Jonas Agete Jonas Agete got his first call out for Ghana Black Stars um, when one player like that didn't able to make it that is uh, when Alexander Jiku injury situation that they, they, he was called Jonas Agete in the Switzerland League. He also performed very well in Basel. They lost, they went away and they lost one goal to zero. And after the game, he was rated 7.1. So these are some of the players that performed very well so far. Right there. Um, Thomas Partey also played 85th minute for his team Arsenal in the English Premier League. So after the game, happening Arsenal winning four goals to two. After the game, he was rated seven point six. So he's not really up to Elias Ousu, Abu Francis, and the rest. That is the reason why he couldn't make it. But we put them here as substitute. The same midfielder that also performed very well is um, Magid Asmeru in the 
Belgium Pro League with Anderlecht. He came on on the first half, um, a 46 minute that he came on, and helping his team getting one point because they play one one. Anderlecht went away and they play one one. So after the game, he was rated seven point um, one. So you can see some of the players rate, and like I said, due to copyright issues, um, when you put all the the the, the rates here, uh, normally you get copyright issues. So that is the reason why I cannot able to put some of the um, the player rate. So yeah. So we don't want any bias call up. Um, you can also see Babaya. I mean, um, Accra Sports Stadium. Uh, right there very beautiful a lot of people are even beginning to say that it is even more than more than Wembley. where is the nigeria people that always yabbing us that yeah you have a stadium you have a light you wanna i told you guys that there is no way omogana this is not um, this is not omonaja this is omogana i told i have been telling you that there's no way ghana is going to play anywhere because the government will not sit down there for that embarrassment to happen the Ghanaian leaders no matter what no matter what we talk about a lot of things they will not sit down for that to happen and i've been saying this right here that there is no way ghana will play this game anywhere i've seen a lot of people coming out and saying that why are we like that um i think we are both um when you are creating content and your brother is creating content you don't know what i don't have a right to come out here to say what you are saying you are lying that is your personal opinion which i need to respect that but we, we have a people that also creating content. The moment you say something, they want to find a way to come out to uh, 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 make you feel like you don't know what you are talking about. But by the way, um, we, we're going to see, um, like I said, fully confident that Ghana is not going anywhere to play. You can see the pitch on your, 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 your screen, stuff like that. So what I'm seeing here, we do not want any bias call up. From Ghana Black Stars, you can see clearly. Look at Michael Beju as as a, a attacking midfielder. Ten goals. He's not a striker. Midfielder playing twenty four games, scoring ten goals, four assists. Our whole Mohamed Kudus this season so far, things are not going well for him. Look at most of our players that are always available for Ghana Black Stars lesson. How many of them get goals? Apart from Antoine Semenyo, who scored three goals, one assist. I think, um, how many matches? Let me check that very quick one. So I won't mislead you right here. I'm very. Um, before we go to Antoine Semenyo, Mohamed Fuseni, eight matches, three goals, one assist in the Belgium Pro League. Then now you also have Antoine Semenyo right there. Okay, Semenyo right there also um, have three goals. Six matches, three goals, one assist. Jordan Ayu, no goal. Fatao Isahako, no goal. Apart from uh, Joseph Pencil, who also have 10 goals. But look at, look at, go and check the performance of um, um, th this guy that played Norwich. F for Sena Mankwa, look at the, look every every weekend look at the rate is get sometimes four point something five point something but yet that player is getting call up look at um um thomas asante thomas asante look at the performance is given out there very very poor performance this season so far the the championship he he do not score a goal in the championship where he get the two goals and our brother was talking about i was talking about the championship i'm not talking about the the efl cup that is where he scored the two goals but the champion the main championship said he do not get the goal in the main championship i think about six goals i mean uh, six six matches zero goals zero assists but wait and see if you say the call up is very fair if Ked, mr Ked, you said yesterday that every call up in ghana blasters it is very clear you guys should tell me the main reason why players like that will be getting call up the makabedu getting 10 goals not just only this season last season he scored a lot of goals as a midfielder a player that also played for ghana under 20 ghana under 17. being with our the, the, the youth side ibrahim sadiq six games 
four goals, three assists. He also been in Ghana under 20, Ghana under 17, being World Cup with Ghana under 17. What set of players are not inviting? And all the time we are seeing players that cannot score goals and we are expecting them to deliver in the Black Stars. Meanwhile, even the club side, they cannot deliver. They cannot deliver. Look at look at this season, all the English Premier League players. Our our players that played in the, in the in the English Premier League. None of them get goal apart from Antoine Semenyo. None of them. Tell me who get goal there. Jordan you score one goal for the EFL uh, Cup. But when you are talking about the English Premier League set, no goal for him, no goal for Tao for Tao Isako, no goal for Thomas Party. Come on, Dean Sulemana, we do not even know where he is. Tarek Lamte is not getting playing time for Brighton. But yet the call up will come. These players, their name will be first in the list. We will have a lot of players playing the Sweden, scoring goals. We have been at Akpete, scoring goals. We have uh, been at Mesa, scoring goals. We have uh, 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 Michael Bedu scoring goals. But yet these players can never invite for the Ghana Black Stars. Then you guys will come out and tell us that well, the call up is always being fair based on players' performance. So what performance do you want to tell me? With a player that have 10 goals, 5 goals, 7 goals, and that player is not getting call up. And players that play for championship is not getting even playing time full time. They are coming on second half, sometimes eight, eight, two minutes. But yet, you, you call them to Ghana and team, and you expect them to, that no miracle will happen. I always tell most of we, the Africans, that we shouldn't do things different way and expecting dif di 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 different results. It will never happen. Because looking at most of the players' performance in their club side, how do you expect that they have to deliver in the national team when they are even playing so many games for the club side, not getting good, not getting assists? So my brother watching this video, be honest to yourself, go on social media. Now it is very, very easy. Nobody can lie for you. Do your own check. Check the players. And check some of the players, the way the goals and the assists, and check some of the players that are always getting call up for Ghana Black Stars. We are the, we are our own enemy. We are, we, we are doing ourselves. We are part of the reason why Black Stars is where it is because we are not giving most of the players that deserve to be there to be there. So, Otoado, this time around, I believe that you can do the job 100%. But you need to call the players based on the way they perform. You can't tell me that Makebedu having 10 goals, he cannot improve in Ghana, he cannot score goals in Ghana Black Stars. A midfielder having 10 goals, but yet Ghana Black Stars call up will come, a set of players is not there. Everybody should go out there and check Makebedu. He played for under 20. He sat from Ghana youth side. Sadiq, he sat for Ghana youth side. But why these players are not getting call up? Someone should tell me why. So yeah, um, that is it. Thank you so much for always staying here um, for us because the reason why we are always talking like this, we want the right thing to be done. All these players I'm talking about them, they are not my family member, but because of Ghana, we all want Ghana Blasters to be where we want Ghana Blasters to be. So when we, are, we have eyes, we are seeing players performing out there and they are not giving chance. If though the players that you are inviting, if they are improving, if we are seeing winning, we will not come here and complain because we want the result. But these players, they are not giving us the result. They are not giving result in their club side as well. But you have players out there, then you are not giving them the chance to also see what they can do. So Otoado, make sure that you give clear, good a, 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 a squat this time around enjoy um, your afternoon whatever you may be watching us from or your evening as well one love